Hey, hey, it's your girl, All Things With A K, and I am back with another video. So today, I have a uh, medium-sized Dollar Tree haul. And so, this haul was inspired by me needing to go to the store and get, what was I getting? Oh, I needed some containers things like that and some things to finish off some um excuse me some um mother's day gifts and so i found a few more things to start into father's day um because i'm pretty much done laying out most of my gifts for mother's day so um if you've been watching my videos and if not go back and watch them but i kind of have been this year doing things a little differently so this is my first mother's day doing baskets and so i've been doing baskets over the years but this is my first time with full seasons of doing spe like gifts specifically for holidays multiples and setting them out selling them on the street that kind of thing before i was just doing things by order every now and then so anyway Let's get into this video and I will show you what I got. So, every time I go to Dollar Tree, if they have this brown recycled paper looking shred, then I'll try to grab a few bags. Here's the barcode, because they don't always have it. So I got two more bags of that. And then I, in my head, was going to get some shred from Pop Shelf because everything else is a dollar versus a dollar twenty-five. But when I got to Pop Shelf, which I'll do another video for that haul, so watch out for that. But when I went back to Pop Shelf, they didn't have any shreds, so I just have to see what I can get through with what I already have for these gifts. Once I start packing them, oh, I didn't finish my point. So I was saying that this year, I, or I should say this season um starting with mother's day i have been laying out the gifts like picking out what i think will be a cute or even letting my daughters pick out what they think will be a cute color combination or a cute theme or something like that or a basket that they think i should use and then building the gift off of what i have in my stock that way but i do also have preconceived concepts that i've already been um stockpiling for so i've been building those too and filling them with you know what i've already been collecting and things like that but also doing other way concepts as where um before i was writing down every single concept idea for that particular season or holiday and writing in every single thing that would be inside of it all of that and then um choosing the price so i'm doing things a little bit differently and it seems to be going way quicker so i have baskets like i said go back and check some of my shorts and some of my other videos and you will see how they're like laid out in the floor all the way around in different places my office the hallway upstairs the family room up here and different things like that and they're already kind of laid out i just now need to go through and finish different baskets you know um, stuffing them paper shreds taping them down bagging them with cello bags shrinking them if they need to be shrunk shrink wrapped and bowing them and pricing them so now that's what my next steps are after i finish putting together a few more of the concepts that were already in my head i just don't have them physically put together so let's finish with this haul next up is this which is also another thing that i'm going to be using for mother's day i've been collecting things to make a um kind of a gourmet spaghetti type concept so i have put the ingredients themselves like the food ingredients themselves on my ebay and it's not moving as fast as i would like so i don't want the food to become um expired so i'm gonna instead switch it up which you have to do sometimes you gotta switch up right and um i'm gonna make a basket a physical basket and i'm gonna put it out with my mother's day things so 
I wanted to add a colander um, to it. And so I found this red colander, which goes perfectly. And I'm going to put it in that basket. Next up, I told you guys in another video where I got some things from Dollar Tree that I had picked up two of these. And if I went back to Dollar Tree, I might grab a couple more because these, as you can see, don't have a year on them. So they can be used for any graduation any year so even if i don't use all of these four um in a concept or in a basket you know before the year ends it's not a waste because they don't have a year on them so i would only grab two more like i said i would so let's continue with graduation stuff since that's where i am right now so i also grabbed oh i guess i'll show you the barcode for this and the barcode for the cups. Okay. And I grabbed this. This is a four pack one. Congrats, grad. And I grabbed these. They did have some more that were more kind of gold and black themed or whatever. But I was like, I'm a color girl and I like color. So just to add a little bit of color into these gifts, I grabbed these instead of the other ones. And I literally sat there in the store for probably a minute or two longer than I should have <laughs> trying to figure out which one I was gonna get and I didn't want to get both because it's four picks in each one and I was like I don't need both at the moment so I just got this one because even if somebody comes to my table when I'm set up because I'm gonna set up before Mother's Day but even if somebody wants to come and grab a gift for a graduate all I have to do is stick one of these picks down in the gift and instantly it becomes a graduation gift okay so at least that, that was part of my thought process so here is this and here's the barcode next up i got these foam scatters gold i got the gold and black pack um because i have some gold star balloons headed my way from timu also and so i can put you know the balloon on top of those if I get orders specifically for graduates um and then these can just be down you know inside of a gift to finish it off and give it a little razzle dazzle here is the barcode I got these wishing tags there's eight pieces in here and it says graduation wishes dear whoever advice and well wishes with love and then you put whoever it's from but it's like they got little strings on the back so you can tie it to the gift um but here i was just thinking these will be cute and a good addition like if people come to the table same as i said looking for a graduation gift i can throw this and this in to make it more graduation you know like um or i can also if somebody places an order i can tie one on their gifts for them so they can use this as their tag for the person next up is are these inflatable headbands so there's six pieces in here and i thought these are cute it's got the little straw to blow the air into them but i remember seeing these on i think lbe's page she used them just as balloons for graduation gifts so i thought that these would be a cute addition too to some of the gifts and maybe you know like i said um add these to some of the gifts too but here's the barcode and like all of this stuff doesn't have to be just for this year it's just different you know bits and pieces depending on how many orders i get and things like that and like you know little things to have on the table so some of these can be blown up on the table people can you know pay a dollar or so for one of these one of these you know what i mean so just adding those to the table just in case people want to turn a regular gift into a graduation gift and i'm also going to have guys gifts available when i have my mother's day table out because people like to buy for men and women all year round so that's a good thought for you guys i'll just have women's gifts um next up so speaking of men, in another haul a while ago from Dollar Tree, I found, oops, some of these, it's, this one says plan, and it looks like, you know, kind of like 
hide kind of like raw hide sort of and i just love the look for like a man's gift and i was saying if i ever see these in the store again i'm going to grab them so i found one of these and i took it here's the barcode um if you guys like i said if you guys have been watching then um you know i got some of these a while ago to go with those little trifle dishes that they have and i they didn't have any purple scoops um and so i have two purple trifle dishes left that i wanted to make a cute possible teacher appreciation gift or a small mother's day gift or something like that and i've already made the other six but i just didn't have purple scoops to finish the gift off and i thought that i was gonna have to go in a different direction and make a different concept than what i already was doing for the last two colors because i didn't have scoops but when i was in dollar tree found these purple scoops here's the barcode and also to finish off the same concept for what i was talking about i got two more epsom salts that are in the smaller size that will fit down in the trifle gift here's the barcode okay so for father's day i have been having a concept in my head for a game night family game night type thing or just a you know game back game night and so um i was going to be using those uh what's those cups called i can't even think of the name of the cups but they're like those red cups that we drink out of um and put in popcorn and different snacks in them and so i found these i thought this was the perfect um addition there's eight popcorn bags in each one so i can stick a bag a pack of these um in each one you know just to add another filler and another cute addition to it since i'm putting popcorn in the bags or in the containers solo cup that's what they're called <laughs> okay these two cups water bottles i found and they're perfect additions to things that i already have so i have a tray a little uh thin longer tray that i was going to do a concept on um and so this matches the tray exactly this wasn't in there before when i got the tray and so now this is in there so i can sit this up on the tray to make the gift higher and then i can put you know some baths and body works or some other stuff alongside of this to make this gift complete here's the barcode on that one okay and then same with this there's a, a tray and it's wider and it has this exact same print and it wasn't there when i bought the um tray either so now this is in there and so now this is going to be an addition to a lemon and orange thing that i have waiting so it's perfect because it takes up a little bit of space on the tray and it gives a little something extra that i didn't pay a whole lot for to make the gift even better here's the barcode so just follow my page, subscribe and all the things so that you can see all these ideas that I'm coming up with. Um, I found this bag. So this actually is going to go with this concept. See how per perfectly that works? So on the tray, there's going to be this. I'm going to puff this up with some um, packing paper or, you know, something and this is going to be another part of it and then there's going to be other things that go along with the concept on the track next up um okay these i got two of these i'll show you the barcode but they're star platters and they're not super big but they're big enough and i thought these could be cute concepts to have on the table um already made out right and so then if people want graduation gifts then this can be a possible graduation gift on the table and this is what i got the scatter for i'm going to sprinkle some on each of these plates and maybe have you know i don't think i'm going to put the balloon in here but like have it as an option to buy the balloon and i'll attach it to it or something like that i'll figure it out but i got two of these to kind of nod to the idea of a graduation gift on the table you know okay i also got 
four of these. They're little shiny, kind of metal, but not super thick trays. And they kind of remind me of the old back in the day, you know, trays because of this little pattern that's ingrained on the engrossed on there or whatever. So I got four of these because I thought there's these cute little concepts that I have for Mother's Day. And this will make the perfect addition to them. So stay tuned to see what I do with those trays. Um, okay, I've been on the hunt for these for a while, and I think I saw these first used by Lady Die, I believe. And I told her I haven't been, I've been trying to find some and could never find any. So I finally found some, and these are going to go for Father's Day. So these are the ones that I saw her using. It's um, collapsible storage containers. Here's the barcode. And this black and white one was the one that I was really on the hunt for. And so I got two of these. And then I found these two that I thought would work perfectly also for Father's Day. There's this gray pattern. And then there's this kind of light blue, oops, pattern. So I got those. So those will be put away for Father's Day. And now I'm down to my last three things. And these are all three of my like most favorite things I found so I'll show you this one it's a bottle so I did find some of those tall skinny um perfume bottles that Dollar Tree had before in the different colors I haven't put them in any of my concepts yet but um maybe I'll add them to some of my ones that I haven't finished yet but I saw these and decided that these would be great in my stockpile I thought these were so pretty so I got two of these and then I got these Bibles. Um, and I thought that these were very, very pretty covers and that they would make great gifts and or great additions to some of my inspirational type gifts or whatever. Here, the barcode. I grabbed two of these and I don't think I'll be putting them in any Mother's Day gifts necessarily. I don't know, I might. I might uh, build two concepts directly around this just to have some out there. We'll see. Stay tuned to see. And then here are my final two and most favorite finds. So, y'all, I use Honey Pot. And look at these. Honey Pot is a kind of a natural, black-owned, um, feminine care product company. And these kind of remind me of that packaging. These are by Be Pure. The packages are smaller because then these are overnight pads and there's only six in here and these are super and there are only eight in here so it's not as big as the ones from honey pot um but it's the same no dyes no chlorine no added fragrances and they both have aloe and lavender in these Oops. so i got one pack each just to try them out and see um what i think of them so that's all I have right now. So thank you for um, coming and watching my haul. Thank you for clicking to watch it. And let me know, you know, what you think about the stuff I got. And I'll keep following and watching to see how I use all of these things. Later today, I'm going to be posting another video. But this one's going to be Pop Shelf. It'll be my second time at the Pop Shelf sale. The first time was a 70% off sale. This time, I think I got 90% off sale. So... Watch out for that one and have a good day. Bye.